In the last ILL video, we made it to the point where the patron has the ILL request checked out. In this video, we'll see what to do when the patron returns the ILL item. Make sure you review the accompanying handout. It will go into more detail about this process. When the patron returns the ILL item to the library, it can be checked in just like any other item. When a staff member scans the item, an item block message will appear letting staff know this item is an interlibrary loan item. Staff can click continue to complete the check-in. At this point, the item is checked in off the patron's record. In the power pack, the patron will no longer see the ILL title listed in their checkouts or as a hold request. On the staff end in LEAP, the ILL request record temporary item record, and temporary bib record will still exist. We next need to return and delete the ILL request record to remove all of these records from LEAP. Only staff who are part of the ILL permission group will be able to delete ILL requests. Also, just like when receiving, you can return and delete ILL request records from the patron record, from the request record, or from the request manager. We'll first look at how to return and delete from the patron record. Open the patron record and navigate to their ILL held tab. Again, while the ILL request no longer appears to the patron in the power pack, staff still see the ILL request in LEAP. The ILL request status is received, but the ILL item status is available. The ILL request will have a status of received from the point staff market as received in LEAP until staff market as returned. But since the patron no longer has the item checked out, the item status will show as available. To mark the ILL request as returned, select the checkbox next to the request and click return. The ILL request status is now set to returned and the item status is returned ILL. After clicking return, select the checkbox again and select delete. This will delete the ILL request record and flag the temporary item record and temporary bib record for deletion. Let's next see how to mark an ILL request as return and deleted from the ILL request record. Locate and open the ILL request record. The video Locating ILL Request Records demonstrates several ways for locating an ILL request record in LEAP. Under the Actions drop-down menu, select Return. The ILL request record status is now set to Returned. After clicking Return, go back to the Actions drop-down menu and select Delete. Again, this will delete the ILL request record and flag the temporary item and bib records for deletion. Finally, let's take a look at returning and deleting from the request manager. As a reminder, only staff who are part of the ILL permission group can access the ILL tab of the request manager. Select Utilities and Request Manager. Click on the ILL tab to locate the desired request. Remember, the ILL request now has a status of received, so you want to make sure you select received from the status dropdown. Select the checkbox and click return. To delete, change the status dropdown to returned. Locate the ILL request record, select the checkbox, and click Delete. Congratulations, you have now seen all steps in the Polaris ILL process. If you have any questions, please email help at ccslib.org.